had love with Pat's two cents. Second half of this dream, because there's more revelation. And I, I didn't want to drag that video out too long, so I'm making two parts. Listen, <clears throat> Mariel's dream with the woman, the snake, and the baby. She was oblivious to the danger, to the threat of that snake. But she also took her baby and entrusted it almost in the bosom of that snake, so to speak, as the snake had coiled up. Now, this is what I got about laying the baby in the bosom of the snake and Mariel trying to warn her, but the whole thing was muted. She could not be, she could not be heard. Society as a whole, those that don't know diddly about God will take their, their children and place them in front of the idiot box or these computers, cell phones, tablets, whatever you want to call them, where anything goes. And these children are being programmed by the coiling cobra, the system, entertainment, education, whatever the case may be, they're like getting hypnotized. Yeah, I mean, they are just being dummied, numbed. They're in a trance being told what's valuable, being told what counts, what doesn't count. Seeing images they should not be seen. Admiring what they should be hating. Why? Because society is shoving it down their throat with candy and sugar and all kind of visions of sugar plums dancing in their head. And the kids are like, ah! Or they play, I mean, it's crazy, but they're being caught up in it. So they're in the bosom of the serpents. Now, listen, the reason Mariel was quiet, she could not, I don't care how hard she tried to holler to warn the woman, she could not warn the lady because this is my take on this society hits the mute button. Wait, you need the Lord. Mute. Wait a minute, you can't do that. That will be dangerous. Mute. Talk to the hand, baby. Don't want to hear it. I'm grown. Do what I want to do. Hey. And we're crying. We're praying. We're pulling our hair out. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You don't realize where this is going to lead you. Did I ask you, Mew? Society does this. They see people of faith as stupid, ignorant, overdramatic, not worth listening to. So the more God sends people into society through the internet, through these different venues, people are steadily turning down the volume, clicking over to something more enticing. They don't want to hear about the things of God. They don't want to hear about righteousness. They don't want to hear about the traps of sin, the traps of evil, de deep demonic possession. They don't want to hear about the drugs, the, the drugs that fry the brain permanently. They don't want to hear about closing their legs and zipping their zipper. They don't want to hear about that. Hey, baby, no, 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 look, I hear you cramping my style. They don't want to hear that. Mute. So we're mute. We're living in dangerous times, you guys. This is not time for the mute button. Even those of you who have your serious doubts, 
You better start listening to the people that God is sending to warn us in these last days. There's not much time left. And if you keep the mute button on and you think it's time for peace and safety, when sudden destruction comes, baby, you're not even going to be able to find the, the volume button to turn it up. Now, what was she saying? Too late. Damage is done and irreversible.